guys, are you wondering what Lil Wayne and Rick Ross's endorsed Bumble Rum tastes like? Well, I'm going to let you know, and I'm going to also give you guys a cocktail to try out. So stay tuned. So, 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 so. Let's get into the look of the bottle. Hey, aesthetically, this is a beautiful, beautiful bottle. Um, it has a whole pirate theme to it. X marks the treasure. On the back of the bottle, you have a uh, description which says an authentic uh, Caribbean legend. Bamboo is masterfully blended by hand from island rums and native spices. And it is indeed 750 milliliters, you guys. It might not seem like it, but it actually is. To get into it, let's open it. Be advised that this drink does have a plastic seal around the neck of the bottle and it attaches to the cork. So if you get one and it doesn't have any seal, you might not want it. It also has notches here for, ooh, ooh, okay, because the first time I did this, it didn't go so well. Oh, that was easy. Oh, last time, I was, I'm going to pull the muscle. Let's pop this sucker open. I like that sound. X marks the treasure. Okay, I smell the spices, you guys. I totally smell the spices. And I also smell like some caramel or some vanilla. It smells awesome. I don't get that cringing alcohol smell. You know, you usually get with this strong and shit like some taco vodka. So <laughs> I don't have that with this. It smells awesome. It smells good. I will actually, I want to try this on some ice cream. I might have to do that in the near future. Let's try it out. Make a shot. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I do taste some caramel, some vanilla, and the little spices. I do. It's good. That is good. I can tell it'll blend well when you make cocktails. That's good. It's not really strong, strong like you get with some liquors. Like it doesn't just totally burn your esophagus. You can breathe and talk after you take it. <laughs> That's always fucking important. <laughs> okay. I like that. That's good. Lil Wayne, Rick Ross, y'all did y'all thing on this. I give y'all a thumbs up. Two thumbs up, actually. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's um take another shot. And then guess what I'm going to do after that? Take another shot. I'm going to take three shots. And then I'm going to let you guys know on a scale of one to ten how fucked up I am in 30 minutes. Like, because we got to plan this shit out. We... We older adults now. We can't be sloppy drunk at the pre-party. <laughs> so I'm going to take two more shots and then let you guys know in about 30 minutes how drunk I am. Turn it off. No, take the two shots. Shit, turn the motherfucker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn it off. You told me to turn it off. I'm a maniac. <laughs> Trying to get ass with two shots. I ain't, I don't know. They, you know, they chilling right now. I ain't, I ain't soaked up the game yet. Y'all wait to sell up the game. You just want to turn it off. <laughs> All right, so I got to do it with 30 minutes. Yep. Now, in the meantime, in between time, we're going to make a cocktail. I'm going to give y'all a cocktail to make with. I just decided to have a little shot and everything. I'm going to let y'all know what I came up with. You feel me? So, I'm professional with this shit, okay? I'm going to take two shots of these. Fuck it. Let's see what's in there. I'm going to do four. Now, nah, I forgot I'm going to make, a, I am making two drinks. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm going to do four. <laughs> And because I'm partially an alcoholic, but hey, let's not judge. I got some pomegranate juice, 100% pomegranate juice. I'm going to just pour some in there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just pour some in there. I'm going to do some cranberry grape juice. I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm always going to put some cranberry grape juice in my cocktail. In my, I, I just, I don't give a fuck what it is. Clear brown, whatever. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm eyeballing this shit like it's some dope. You hear me? And then we're gonna put some hypnotic in there just because the shit was laying around, okay? <laughs> I'll just pour the rest of this in there. Yes, yeah. Make sure you put some ice in there. 
two cocktails. This is pretty. And I also have you guys some pineapples, some fresh pineapples. If I was you guys, I would get like the whole pineapple and get like the big, large pineapple slices. Basically garnish them on the rim of your glass. Make it all cute and shit, you know. That's it for that. That shit good. I'm gonna try yours. Not bad at all. That a little pungent too, right? Yeah. I made the whole kind of strong with the full shot. Mm -hmm. But it's it's not overbearing though. Mm -hmm. Has a producer seal of approval. You know what I would also put in there? Some pineapple juice. Alright, that's a good cocktail for you guys. I would call this the 40 bomb. Mm. <laughs> Bro. I fucking forgot the goddamn pineapple juice. I added the pineapple juice, and yes, that is what you need to add to it to make it a little bit more smoother. Hair flip, hair flip. If you want to get a little fucked up, add four shots of bamboo rum. If not, probably do like two or three, depending on the serving size. If it's you with a partner, do three shots, okay? If it's just you, just do two. Me, I'm an alcoholic, so uh, um, I did fucking four, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys, it has been 30 whole minutes, and guess what? I'm at a fucking four, all right? On a scale of one to 10, I'm at a four. After taking three shots in 30 minutes, I'm at a four. To me, that's pretty good, considering that, let's say we had a pre-party, and then I have the party to go to after and then the after party. I think four is pretty good. I wouldn't like to be at a six as of right now, or above, or anything, because you risk getting a little too lit too early so um i'm at a four that's a good place for me you know so make sure you plan out your drinks you know we old as fuck now we can't drink like we used to when we was younger so plan out your drinks i'm at a four three shots and then a mixed drink as well so yeah that's pretty good for me i'm happy let's get into some drunk stories i'm gonna start off first allow myself to be vulnerable at this moment <laughs> Okay, so one time I was in college and me and my friends, we had, you know, we had like a little clique or whatever. So we went in on a pack one time because one of my homegirls, her boyfriend, birthday was coming up. So she wanted to throw him a surprise birthday party. Cool dandy. Perfect. It's college. We finna get fucked up. Like, you know. So we made a pack that we was all gonna get super fucked up and have this balling ass time at this surprise birthday party. So the party goes down, he surprised him, whatever, we surprised him. Me, I done bought a whole thing of Ciroc, drunk it. We had trash can punch. I had some old cheap ass shit. I think it was Burnett's in a plastic bottle. Reason today I don't fuck with nothing in a plastic bottle. Don't drink shit in a fucking plastic bottle, people. Cut it out your diet, okay? All right, but anyways. Drunk a whole thing of some rock, right? Had trash can punch and everything. I'm holding my end of the deal. So my homegirl, Big Freak, had a stripper pole in the room, right? So the way the apartment was set up, you go from the living room straight to her room, right? So all the girls was in the room and, you know, we all played on the stripper pole and stuff like that. So legend goes that I ran from the living room into her room and jumped on the pole, right? Legend goes. But they said, um... The stripper pole came down and it accidentally hit my best friend in the head and um, she had a concussion. But I didn't know none of this at the time, you know, it was an accident, pure accident, pure accident, you know, freak accident at that. But the next day I woke up in my dorm room and I had a different, different change of clothes on and my phone was missing and things of that sort. So I go to my friend house and all that. She was like, yeah. I had to go to the hospital because I had a concussion and she told me everything I did and all that. I didn't believe it. I didn't fucking believe it. But then when I looked at my clothes and had blood on the back of the shirt and I had no choice other than to believe it. And ever since that day, I apologize to my best friend every fucking time I see her. Because <laughs> it could have went a different way. But we did all have fun and everything that night according to what I heard. But it, it went bad. I pulled the stripper strip pole down on her. And it was a pure accident. Pure accident. And they said when the pole came down, I hit her. I didn't know. And then it was like, Lee, you hit the in the head with the stripper pole. And then they said, I said, I don't care. The bitch shouldn't have been in the way. But 
I don't remember that. It doesn't, doesn't sound like my character at all. Hey, if they said I said it, then I said it. But every time I see my best friend, I apologize. So, you guys, in the comments, email me. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, Instagram. And hit me up with your crazy drunk stories or even video footage. And I'll feature it here. But if you all, make sure you drink responsibly. Since we drinking wine and shit. What's up with what? We got them two dreads together. <laughs> Wayne got two dreads in his head. Them hoes melted together. He had a welder. Put on them braids. <laughs> nah, Wayne, you did your thing. You think he, he good with babies right now? They still kissing? Or what? I don't know. I don't know. They good? Baby give him his money or his freedom or whatever the hell he wants. All right, so overall, I give Bumble Rom two thumbs up. Great job, Rick Ross and Lil Wayne. It's good to know that you both put the same dedication and uh, thoughtfulness in your ventures as you do your music. You know, you're not just feeding us consumers some bullshit. That's some good ass rum. Best rum I didn't have so far. Made a good cocktail out of it using cranberry grape juice, hypnotic, uh, pomegranate juice, the bamboo rum, and pineapple juice. Great, great, great cocktail. So I'm overall happy with the uh, bamboo rum. You guys, I, I suggest that you try it. And yes, black people, it is club friendly. You can take this to the club. It got the club appeal. You see that? Got the club appeal. You can take that to the club, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid. Put the Hennessy down sometime. We can take that to the club. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>